This is a subject in an MRI scanner. With MRI data acquisition, it is hard to sample fast enough to image the dynamics of what is happening, such as how a subject's tongue is moving during speech. The data acquisition rate is so slow because the data is being sampled completely. In this animation, the yellow represents the data that is acquired and the blue represents the data that is not acquired. The topic researchers are exploring is how we can form high quality images using less data so more images can be acquired rapidly. You can see that the fast acquisition gets more frames per second by measuring less data and the slow acquisition measures the data fully but at the cost of speed. A way to understand conceptually how researchers can get by with less data and that this approach seems possible would be through thinking about how the human brain gets by without taking in all of the data. You can picture a bathroom faucet and sink in your mind. Also note that a comb, scissors, and liquid hand soap is on the left of the sink. Someone has their hand on the knob of the sink. The person then turns on the sink and water runs from the faucet to the drain. You could imagine something that looks like this, or it could have looked a bit different but we can understand the story through communication with the English language. After you are given the imagery of the scene, you know that the imagery remains the same when you are told that the only difference is that the faucet is turned on. This is similar to the way computers can understand how to form images from data without collecting all of the data for each image. Each image in the video is correlated to each other because they are mostly the same. We do not need to know information about every single pixel in every single image to understand one image or the whole video. We can use the small amount of data we acquire to form all of the images in the video if the images consisting of the video are very similar. In other words, it is analogous to how the imagery in the background is the same. We only need to know about the changes that occur, and we can get nearly 100% of the story without knowing every single detail that happens. Knowing every single detail can actually be overwhelming and take away from the main point of the story, which is the same in medical imaging and ignoring the unnecessary details also makes the images of higher quality. This is a video at over 100 frames per second of somebody singing within an MRI scanner, which could only be done by sampling the data partially. Note that we are not using the English language to reconstruct the MRI images and the implementations of how the data is acquired and how the image is formed from the data is all a mathematical method but it is analogous to how the brain can use small amounts of information to put together a story and how extra details are overwhelming and unhelpful.